Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Today I have prepared two problems for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read uh, both questions, try to solve them. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first problem. In a family with parents uh, who do not have hemophilia, one son has hemophilia. He receives the gene for hemophilia from... In order to solve this problem, everything you have to know is that this is X-linked uh, recessive genetic disorder. So mother can be of the three uh, genotypes, and the first one would be two normal X chromosomes. The second one can be one normal X chromosome and one uh, X chromosome with defective genes that cause hemophilia and... Uh, the last genotype can be two X chromosomes. Uh, both of them would be with uh, gene, defective gene that cause hemophilia. And the, and the father of the child can be of two genotypes, one normal X chromosome and Y chromosome, and one defective X chromosome and Y chromosome. And these two genotypes would cause normal phenotype and this genotype here means normal phenotype in male and uh, this genotype in female means that she would be affected and this uh, genotype in males also means that this person would be affected. So we are told that both parents are phenotypically normal, so mother should belong to this group and father should belong to this group. And uh, the son has hemophilia. So that means that uh, father can be only this genotype, but mother would be this genotype. Because if we cross with um, this genotype where both X chromosome has normal uh, gene for hemophilia. Uh, we probably wouldn't see this uh, genetic disorder in their progeny. But if we cross this genotype with this normal genotype here, we may expect that progeny would be affected. So mother's genotype would be on the side. So she's heterozygous. And father would be um, genotypically and phenotypically normal. So if we build a Punnett square, we would find what the possible outcomes of such a cross. So here we would have a normal female. And here we would have a carrier female that is going to be phenotypically also normal. And here we would have normal male. And here we would have affected male. Because male is hemizygous, meaning uh, males doesn't have another X chromosome to balance this X chromosome with defective gene. So in males, uh, this genetic disorder being recessive but uh, taking into account that uh, males has only one X chromosome behaves as dominant genetic disorder. So uh, the genotype of the mother, as you see, would be X, X, and uh, she going to be carrier and heterozygous. So this affected male got his uh, defective X chromosome from his mother. And next question. If a boy's father has hemophilia and his mother cells have one gene for hemophilia, what is the chance that the boy will inherit the disease? Once again, uh, the question asks us what if a father's genotype would be this one, so he would be affected. And mother also would belong to this heterozygous genotype. And uh, 
she wouldn't be affected but would be a carrier so we crossing now uh, this genotype and this genotype so once again let's build the Punnett square so mother genotype would be here on the side and father's genotype would be on the top and once again when we build the Punnett square we can predict outcome of such a cross and here we would have one female that is going to be carrier also this family would have 50% chances that the daughters would be affected so 50% of the daughters would be carriers and 50% would be affected and also they would have 50% chances that the um, males or boys would be normal and 50% that the male uh, progeny would be affected so as you see even if father would be affected this doesn't uh, increase the chances that his sons would be affected also because sons can get only y chromosome from the father and uh, x chromosome from the mother and when mother is heterozygous as in previous example the chances for the boys to get uh, or inherit this genetic disorder would be the same 50 percent so here is a male progeny and as you see 50 percent of the male progeny would be affected so the answer would be 50 percent and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video. Goodbye.